Hello, and welcome to the Collegian News webcast. I'm Victoria Barito. And I'm Jonathan Baldwin. Here are this week's stories. The Student Government Association has moved forward on a resolution to help fund the Big Dream Rally, now scheduled for Wednesday. Anthony Cano has more. Where the Student Government Association has gathered to discuss the allocation of funds directed towards the Dream Big Rally. Is talking about is for the Student Government Association to allocate funds to sponsor 1,000 bracelets to be given out to students who participate in the Dream Big Rally. The SGA will spend $545 on 1,000 silicone bracelets for the rally after members approved a resolution during their first meeting of the semester, January 27th. The bracelets will be handed out at the Dream Big Rally, which will take place at 11 a.m. Wednesday. The purpose of the event is to gather feedback from students on their dreams for UT Rio Grande Valley, the new university to be created by the consolidation of UT Brownsville and UT Pan American. UTRGV is scheduled to open in fall 2015. For example, when students um, participate, like they say their dreams or they, you know, give feedback, that's the main purpose. SGA advisor Heather Olage said in addition to spreading the word and building curiosity about the new university, the bracelets would generate feedback. You all as students, uh, this is going to be your university um, in, in 2015. Mendez also said that the SGA might sponsor a bonfire later this semester to promote school spirit. So we're thinking of um, the right month, the right you know, time, the right place to do it. And it's just a really fun event for students and just to really um, have school spirit. SGA officials also plan to conduct forums to hear students' concerns. We believe that right now, since the university is consolidating with UT Pan American, there's a lot of things that students don't know about. So we want to go ahead and have students know about that information. The next meeting of the Senate will take place at 1 p.m. today in Cortez Hall, room 118. For the Collegian News, my name is Anthony Cano. Douglas Stoves is UT Brownsville's new Dean of Students. Magali Gonzalez has the story. Stoves, who was Assistant Dean of Residential Life and Auxiliary Programs, was promoted on January 1st. So I want to do everything I can, starting from orientation, from the student when they're first getting on campus, all the way till they walk across the stage. I want to make sure that it's you know that we're providing those opportunities for students to make this experience everything they want it to be. UT Brownsville Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs Alan Artiviz said there were four other candidates for the position. And so all four candidates uh, prepared a presentation and made it before the search committee. And what the search committee told me was that uh, Doug Stoves did the best job in terms of conceptualizing a, uh, a project and reporting it to the committee, and they were very impressed with it. As Dean of Students, Stoves is responsible for various departments in the Division of Student Affairs. Stoves said the position of Director of Residential Life has not been advertised yet, but for the time being, Steven Cisneros, Assistant Director of Student Life, and Deborah Perez, Assistant Director of Housing and Operations, will assist him with the department. For the Collegian News, this is Magali Rosales. Here is reporter Anthony Cano with the I Think Question of the Week. For this week's I Think, we're wondering if UTB students are going to have health insurance by the deadline of March 31st. Here's what they had to say. Most likely will because my job's going to be providing it, like with the AFLAC I'm thinking. But um, they're, we're going to have to be paying for part of it and the company's going to pay for the other part. So most likely I'm going to have insurance by the, that date. Um, I'm under my parents' plan, so I won't have to worry about it till I'm 26. Pues ahorita lo estoy pensando, es algo que he tomado en, en mente, pero pues sí está muy caro. Eh, la aplicación también en el internet está muy lenta también, pero es algo que pues sí tengo que tomar en cuenta y sí, sí quisiera yo poder tener esa, esa oportunidad de hacerlo. I will. My parents are going to help me get the cover from me, and I think everyone else should get it. For the Collegian News, my name is Anthony Cano. A 21-year-old UTB graduate is teaching math on campus. Jose Juan Vera just earned bachelor's and master's degrees last fall. Ana Cavazos introduces us to the young faculty member. Vera graduated from UT Brownsville last month with two degrees in mathematics through a program called 
mathematics 4 plus 1. The university hired him to teach college algebra, linear algebra, and calculus to starting the semester. It came pretty easy to me, um, or, or as I, I'd like to say, it came easier to me than other students. In 2008, the Brownsville native left Pace High School to enroll in the more challenging UTV Mathematics and Science Academy during his senior year. He graduated from the academy in May 2010 with an associate's degree. It wasn't surprising to me that I, I went into the field of math because I really enjoyed it. And, you know, and um, so math was pretty simple as, as I, I was studying in high school and then so on. So. Mathematics department chair and associate professor Yershi Magilski said Vera was highly qualified for the Mathematics 4 plus 1 program, an accelerated degree program which is designed for students with strong mathematics skills and who have at least 3.2 GPA for all courses and 3.5 GPA in mathematics. As a junior in college, Vera discovered his passion for teaching when a friend suggested he apply to be a math tutor at UTV. I saw that I, I enjoyed helping students succeed in math, so so that's when, when I started to see that I wanted a career in instructing students in mathematics. McGilski and math professor Paul Herman C. Shang served as various advisors in the 4 plus 1 program. C. Shang advised Vera during his thesis. He sparked Vera's interest in theoretical algebra, which is what he wants to study when he applies to a doctorate program. For the Collegiate News, this is Ana Cavazos. Thank you for joining us this week. I'm Victoria Brito. And I'm Jonathan Baldwin. Have a great week.